So shoot these things and just pray to God that you get lucky. Um, if you're not good at shooting these fucking things, like, pretty much the only way to get past this part is to play it over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Until you master the cripple controls and realize that you pretty much have to shoot ahead of your target by a pretty substantial margin in order to actually hit anything. And I also don't recommend holding down the shoot button um, when you're doing this. Um, you can, and it'll rapid fire, but I think it gives you um, less control, and you're not able to actually hit the uh, gobstoppers that are coming at you um, very easily. So, I mean, overall, though, I gotta admit this is pretty impressive looking for the NES. Um, it looks like what it's supposed to be. And I'm gonna fucking die here. This is fucking garbage! You gotta kill, like, 43 of these TIE Fighters, and... You can't just kill... I don't think you can just kill the shots. Like, if you just kill the stuff that they're shooting at you, I think um, it'll go on forever. I think you gotta kill, like, 43 or 44 of these TIE Fighters. It's fucking ridiculous. Holy shit, I just did it on my first try. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck yeah, you see these nuts? Suck them! Bitch ass. So now we get to the second TIE Fighter shooting stage, and this one's even harder if you don't know the trick. Uh, if you have RTD2, he'll, he'll repair your shields, but he does it at such a fucking ridiculously slow pace that it's not even worth getting him. The easiest thing to do is just to fly in a top right diagonal like I'm doing right here, and just hold the fire button and pray. Pray to God! that you don't fucking die. Because if you die, like I said, you don't lose a life. You lose a continue in these fucking ship parts. I don't really know why, I guess to make it harder. But you can easily get to the end of the game, get to this part, and use every single one of your continues in probably about five minutes. Okay? I'm probably gonna die here at least once. If I don't die at least once, I'll be very surprised. Because this is fucking ridiculous. And like I said, if you fly towards the top right of the screen, usually a lot of TIE Fighters will fly in front of you and you can kill them. But, yeah, I got one hit left. Chances of me getting through this whole thing is very, very slim. Fucking damn it, fuck! See? Uses a continue. I'm telling you, be very cautious with these fucking parts. And this wouldn't really be that hard if they didn't throw these fucking stages at you at the end of the stage like a bitch slap to the nutsack. It doesn't fucking care. And the only way to practice these fucking shooting stages is to get through the entire game again and get to this part just so you can try them out and then die again so you can do the whole fucking game over again. Welcome to Nintendo Hard, bitch. Okay? Welcome to Nintendo Hard. You want to talk about... Uh, you look up Nintendo Heart, right next to Ninja Gaiden is this motherfucking TIE Fighting shooting stage, okay? Right next to 6-2 and Ninja Gaiden is this fucking bullshit. The green beach balls are coming fast and fucking furious, okay? You better fucking get good at this shit fast. Look at this, man. I can't fucking do shit! Fuck! God, these fucking cardboard cutout TIE Fighters. Who the fuck do you think you are? Fucking piece of shit, goddamn fuck. Usually they'll just go right in a line and fucking just get themselves killed. But you still gotta fucking watch out for these things, man. Like, I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's actually pretty cool you have like a little dashboard with a, like a little TV. Like, I'm looking for a VCR, but I don't see one. But I don't really know. Like, I mean, it's pretty sweet. You can't tell me, you know, NES. I mean, NES could do a lot of shit. Especially considering that they couldn't have very many colors on the screen. Or very many sprites on the screen at one time. And there's not really any slowdown in this part. I mean, it's... It's a functioning part. It's just fucking run your dick over with a John Deere tractor hard. I think I might do it this time. I'm doing uh, a lot better than I did on my last fucking run. So let's fucking kill these fucks. Die! And it just goes on forever. My god, man. This part is like three hours long. And after we beat this part, we'll get to the last part. But, uh... That's if we beat this part. I'm telling you, people, you can blow through your continues in two fucking seconds with this shit. Come on, you fucking bastard fox. That's right, bitches. That's right. Oh, I thought it was over for a second. Fuck! 
you got to kill like 300,000 of these things. I, I shit you not, man. Like, this is just unbelievable. And they, they have a pattern, it seems like, but it's, it's sort of random. Like, by the time you figure out the pattern, you're already dead and you're starting the part over again. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! You can't fucking handle this fucking dick. Now we're gonna fucking take out the Death Star. Now, this is pretty fucking hard, okay? I gotta be honest with you. And I'm probably gonna die at least a few times on this part, so bear with me. Um, shit flies at you like fucking crazy, and if you touch any of it, you immediately die. Luckily, you don't lose a continue on this. You lose lives. So if you die, it's not quite as bad. But, yeah, I just got hit like once, and now I'm almost dead. Fucking kill these fuckers. I mean, Jesus, man. I mean, if you were a fucking little kid and a fan of Star Wars with this game, I feel sorry for you. You'd never make it this far anyways. And, like, gets faster as it goes along, too. You got these enemies coming from behind. God! What the fuck? Okay, you think you're fucking slick? Okay, you ain't shit. Slam me into the fucking wall. Get the fuck over here. Right, bitch. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I gotta be honest, the uh, the shooting sound on this is probably the most annoying thing ever in the history of forever. But it's a pretty short part, so we don't gotta fucking handle it too long here. So we're fucking shooting, we're fucking shooting, and I die. God, what the fuck? And you definitely don't want to die the rest of your continues on this part. To get this far and fucking die, well, I'm sure we all have memories of doing that shit. And this blaster noise is so fucking irritating, it's making my dick hurt. Fuck, I better do it this time, or you don't even want to fucking see me be pissed. Okay, I'm about to be pissed. Look at this, man. There's so much fucking shit flying at you, man. They're fucking throwing shit at you left and fucking right. And this reminds me of that Gradius 3 stage in the Super Nintendo game. Oh my god, I just died right at the end of it! Suck my dick! Okay? And my balls! And my gooch! And get some butthole in there too! Fucker. Fuck, god, fuck. Fucking throwing out this bullshit. This is what I was talking about with the other part, man. They throw this fucking new shit at you at the last fucking second, you're supposed to just fucking do it? Jesus! The only reason I even know how to fucking do it is because I've done it before. Good luck! Anybody wants to try it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Then you gotta shoot your missiles and BOO! Yeah! Blow up the Death Star, bitches! That's it. Beat Star Wars in 20 minutes. About 20 minutes or so. And if you rescue Leia and Han Solo, they'll be right next to you right here, but I did not, so... I did it all by myself, bitches. Piloted the Millennium Falcon, blew up the Death Star. Could've used you guys' help, but, you know... But I'm a badass motherfucker, I don't need no fucking help. But anyways, that's Star Wars on the NES in a nutshell. It's a good game, it's just extremely hard. And misunderstood, in my opinion. But, uh... More reviews on the way, and hopefully some more Nintendo hearts if I get the time.